Hey guys, I'm here today to share with you my new inexpensive and organic skincare routine. So I do have eczema and my skin was just not responding well to products like Neutrogena. So after doing a little bit of research, I decided to switch to the Everyday Coconut Face Wash. It is vegan, it has no synthetic fragrances, it doesn't test on animals, no parabens, it is soy and gluten free, and it also has domestic packaging. So all of these were things that I really, really loved for my sensitive and very, very needy skin, and I felt like this face wash would be perfect. It was only about $6, which is actually cheaper than some Neutrogena, so I was like, this is a win-win. It's a very, very thick face wash with a very great lather, so you really don't need that much. Washing my face, I wet my face with warm water and the, as you can see the product is very very loose. So I just wash my face in circular motions for about 1-2 to two minutes, definitely watching the lather. I do still have my skin brush but I don't really like to use it in the winter time because of how harsh the winter is on my eczema and it can actually trigger eczema and things like that with sensitive skin so I just opt to using my fingers in the times when my skin is the most delicate. When washing my face, I really like to focus on the areas where I get acne and areas also where I do have eczema or dry patches of skin because I want them to be clean and moisturized. As I wash my face, I do add more and more water just to get a better lather. And once again, I'm using warm water and not hot because you don't want to scorch your skin. You just want to put warm water to open up your pores a little bit. So when I'm done washing my face, I use a white washcloth to wash my face wash off and I always use white because it does not have many dyes and all of the synthetic things and bad things in the washcloth so I always opt for white face face towels and you can also see if your face is clean when using a white face towel so that's always a plus. So I dampen the towel, I don't use it dry, I dampen it with the water and then just wipe my face off. Once I rinse all of the face wash off I like to re-wet the washcloth and pat my face with warm water and after that I just get out all my products to moisturize my face. This is my skin right after washing. Yes, look at my baby hairs and my skin is pretty clear. Since using these products I have not had any breakouts or and I have not really had a lot of pimples so the products are working pretty well for me. For my toner, of course, I use apple cider vinegar. This helps to treat and prevent acne, lighten dark spots and acne scars, exfoliate dead skin cells, and it just overall improves your skin's appearance, just gives you that glow. And so when I use this, I just put it on a cotton pad, cotton ball, whatever I have at the moment, and then I hit myself in the face. But I just use whatever I have, and I just apply apple cider vinegar to the pad and just wipe it all over my face. Some people prefer to dilute their apple cider vinegar because their face just cannot handle how strong it is or even their noses, but I am 100% fine with the smell and my skin actually loves it. So this is just how I do it and then I make sure my face is dry. When it comes to acne treatment, I also like to use something natural, so I'm using the Neutrogena Naturals Acne Spot Treatment. This has a lot of natural plant extracts and everything just that can help to prevent acne before it even starts and as it has already formed. So when I am applying this to my skin, I use it wherever I have acne or even when I, where I don't. So I focus it on my T-zone area and my cheeks because I am most prone to acne in those areas. For my face cream, I use the Everyday Coconut Face Cream and just like the face wash, it has no parabens, no synthetic fragrance, and all of the other amazing qualities that the face wash has. So with this face cream, a little bit definitely goes a long way, and I have noticed that with the pump. So you definitely don't want to use too much. I use less than a dime size with this, honestly. And once again, I got this for about $6. You can get it from any health food store like Mom's, Trader Joe's, Wegmans. You can even get it on Amazon, but it's a tad bit more expensive there. But these products are definitely worth it. So like I said, as you guys can see, I use less than a dime because if you push all the way down on the pump, you will have enough for your whole body. So I only use a little bit. Last but certainly not least is a new staple of mine that I wish I had used so much longer. And of course, it is the African Shea 
butter. This stuff has so many benefits for your skin, especially for eczema, dry skin. It can help with pain relief. It helps with treating dark marks. Anything skin related, shea butter should be your go-to. I don't even know how else, how else to explain it. It has so many benefits and it's so amazing. So I honestly just use a little bit of this and I've noticed that it is so moisturizing for my skin because once again I have eczema, dry skin, all of that wrapped into one. So my face can be very dry throughout the night and when I wake up I like my skin to be very moisturized. So by applying this African Shea Butter when I wake up my skin is good to go. But when applying African Shea Butter to your skin, you definitely want to massage it all the way in so that you can feel the full benefits of it. You don't just want to slap it on and just leave it there. And also test it out for your skin to see if your skin likes it. So that is all for my skincare routine. Here is some footage of my skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed my updated skincare routine. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for more. Bye guys.